Well hi folks and welcome to the old classic car channel and today in this short video we're looking at the Bedford CA van and camper van and to begin with we've got MFB 724 which is a July 1961 Bedford CA worker bus this is down at the Brooklands Museum in the livery of BOAC the British Overseas Airways Corporation that's the fuselage of a VC-10 alongside which is also XBOAC Next up to Goodwood, and we've got J0571, that's a 1962 Bedford CA ice cream van. Fantastic little vehicle. Beach Dean Farmhouse Dairy Ice Cream. Next up, uh, at the Dover Transport Museum, which if you haven't already seen it, there's a video about this museum on the SAT channel, is a Mark 1 Bedford CA pickup truck. You can tell it's a Mark 1 because of the split front windscreen, two-piece windscreen. Uh, very nice indeed. The Mark 1 Bedford CA came out in 1952. Now, the first of several photos of some derelict Bedford CAs. Here's a worker bus that's slowly sinking into the ground down in Kent. I photographed this back in 2009 and it's, uh, it's no longer there, I'm afraid. Carrying on with these Bedford CAs, uh, this was on the Cheshire Run. This one popped up, XVS 440. This is in August 1961. This is an example of the Mark II Bedford CA Dormobile Camper. You can tell it's a Mark II because it's got the one-piece windscreen. The Mark III also has a one-piece screen but much deeper. And there's a rear three-quarter view of the same Bedford Dormobile, or Romany as this particular example is called, uh, of the surviving Bedford CAs that are out there. Most of them are probably our campers because they tend to be better looked after than the vans and the pickups and so on. Next up, we have a long wheelbase Bedford CA van from 1966. This is an example of the Mark III Bedford CA. As you can see, it's got a one-piece screen, but deeper than that on the Mark II. And this is a long wheelbase, so the CAL. Two wheelbases were offered, I believe. The CAS and the CAL. This is a CAS. This is a Mark I Bedford CA 228XUH uh, from December 1954. And this is the canopy version so you had sort of half exposed pickup truck body and half covered over van section a very very rare vehicle now did this one go on to be restored next up seen at Mulvern is WDD 908 this particular CA camper dates to December of 1958 a lovely little vehicle probably one of the most desirable CAs of all the porthole camper with the little circular window in the back there uh, very rare very sought after now Another derelict Bedford CA, this is a Mark III, I believe, uh, looking somewhat somewhat worse for wear, sadly, well beyond any form of restoration. I'm not sure what happened to this one, but uh, I imagine it just got scrapped. Now outside uh, Dover Transport Museum on our particular visit, we spotted XKP 444A. This is a March 1962 Mark II Bedford CA. Another example of the Worko bus. This is a long wheelbase version, I believe. A really, a really immaculate survivor. <clears throat> There's a rear view inside the back of the CA. You can see the, the sort of the simple wooden benches that are in the back. That is the Worko bus. More examples now of the canopy version of the Bedford CA. There's a Mark II on the left and a Mark I on the right in the original livery of Watsons of Weymouth. I wonder what happened to that little vehicle. The Mark II on the left, that series was introduced around about 1958. There's the Mark I, uh, introduced in 52. And talking of Mark I's, we've got an early 1950s worker bus here based on a short wheelbase or the CAS Bedford uh, 360 ATX. I was meant to be going off for restoration, but has it happened? If you know any more about any of the CAs featured in this video, please let me know. Next up, uh, to the Gaydon Transport Museum. This was one of their classic commercial vehicle days, HPM 566. This is a January 1954 Bedford CA short wheelbase Mark I panel van. Absolutely beautiful little van this is. You can tell the earlier vans also have larger diameter wheels and those domed hubcaps. So that's another giveaway, but there's a rear view of the same van. A 
two-tone paint job, lovely sign writing, Chillingworth Brothers of Waltham Abbey, Builderers and Plasterers. Back to the woods again and we've got an X evening news newspaper delivery van based on a CAL, the long wheelbase van. Um, again this one was spotted in the woods in the undergrowth outside an old crumbling Victorian house and uh, it wasn't going anywhere anytime soon and as far as I know these were all scrapped. There's another one on the same site, uh, a very sad sight to see indeed. I think that may even be the same vehicle but from the other side looking at the remains of the sign writing on the side there. But yeah, that's a Mark III and going nowhere. Okay, to a slightly happier example, we've got PVJ355. This one was first put on the road in September of 1957. Clearly it's been restored, uh, almost finished. The, uh, the glass isn't yet in the doors. Of course, the panel vans have the sliding doors and the pickups have normally hinged doors. We'll see another example later, I think. So yeah, another Bedford CA van in Mark III form here, NED 951G from late 1968 or early 1969. Long wheelbase Mark III, very smartly turned out. This pops up at some of the local classic car and steam rallies that we have in the northwest here. A really nice example. There's a rear three quarter view of the same van. Like I say, it's a long wheelbase. And this is an delivery of John Dawson Racing, done up as a race support vehicle, celebrating. The activities of a particular gentleman riding a 305cc Dawson prepared Honda Dream CB77 Super Sports. There's another one, another Worko bus, this time slowly disintegrating, disappearing under the undergrowth. There's a Vauxhall Viva HC for company with it. If you have any memories of Bedford CAs back in the day, or if you own one now, please say hello in the comments. It's always, always nice to read about these things. Here we have a coach-built Bedford CA ambulance based on a Mark III, I believe. Like I say, the earlier ones had larger diameter wheels and these later ones are slightly smaller with different hubcaps. I think this one was destined to become a camper van, but whether it's happened yet, I don't know. If you do know, please pop a note in the comments. Back down to Gaydon, the British Motor Museum, and one of the commercial vehicle days, we've got UPO 610E, which is a 1967 Mark III short wheelbase panel van. We're about halfway through now, still plenty of Bedford CAs to come, of course. Here's a lovely little Mark I tipper truck, a very rare survivor. Like I say, the panel vans had sliding side doors. The tippers, the pickups like this one, they have conventionally hinged doors at the front there. This is a Mark I UCD823X Brighton Corporation. Two photos now of BSJ 770 and that handy information board on the front there between the two Notec blue spot lamps tell us that this is a 1959 Bedford CA. It's a Mark II, one piece shallow windscreen, short wheelbase, very nice too. Civic television and radio electrical appliances. There's a rear view of the same van, very nice indeed. Nicely sign written as always, as so many of these vans are, and it's always really nice to see. If you're a fan of classic vans and pickup trucks, let me know in the comments which is your favourite. There's another derelict uh, CA down in Kent that I spotted back in 2009. But yeah, let me know what vans and pickups are your favourites. Uh, the CAs are definitely up there for me, uh, alongside the Morris J-Type vans and the 4D 83Ws. I'm not quite sure which is my favourite out of all of them, but um, yeah, they're all great. Here's one seen at a vintage rally quite a few years ago. This is an f Reg, uh, late 67 or early 1968 Mark III panel van. And four here. Uh, Quite a mixed bag here, there's a Mark II at the left there, and on the right, another porthole camper van but based on the Mark II, then we've got a Mark I van at the bottom, and the Mark II camper at the bottom right. 
quite a mixture. The CA was available in so many different styles and forms of bodywork. It was a very practical, versatile little vehicle. And here we've got a fantastic standard Mark II panel van in grey in its original paint finish. All the better for it. There's a rare one. Uh, appears to be ex Foden. This is a coach built ambulance version of the Bedford CA. This particular one dates to 1965, and judging by the badge on the front, this is one of the rare Perkins diesel engine versions. Most CAs had the F type and later FB Victor engines coupled to a three speed gearbox. There's another field find CA there, looking a little worse for wear, sadly. Not much left on that one. But yeah, the engines typically were the petrol engine as found in the F-Type Vauxhall Victor 3-speed column gear change. There was a 4-speed option later on in production, but most of them were 3. Next up, two large Bedford campers here. I'm guessing these are also Martin Walter Dormobiles of some description. WNN 340G from late 1968. Quite a bulbous body, but very spacious inside. There's a CF to the left. And another example of the late 1960s Bedford CA camper van. Back to another steam rally, we've got MSL 292. This particular van dates to 1960. And as the badge on the front wing there tells us, this is a Martin Walter Worko bus version with the uh, rear slatted seats in the back. Very, very nicely turned out little van. Down to the NEC and this Bedford 434 KAB popped up. This one dates to April of 1963 and I believe this was restored on a TV programme. Um, but I didn't see it, but I'm reliably told that it was. A side view of the same vehicle, long wheelbase as you can see with a lift up roof. This is a fairly late example, 1963 late example of the Mark II. The Mark III came along in 1964. Another one slowly dissolving in the undergrowth here. It's a shame that these fans didn't get caught sooner, they could have been restored, but never mind. Obviously, we knew them as the Bedford CA. In Canada, these were called the Envoy CA. Do many of those survive, I wonder? If you watch this and you've got an Envoy CA, please let me know. A couple more examples here. I do like this one at the top left and the top right. It's the same vehicle, YSL 749 from September of 1958. But I do like those strips down the side. Um, very airy looking vehicle. If you can tell me any more about this particular, who did this conversion, please let me know. We've got another camper at the bottom right. Here, a rear three-quarter view of a long wheelbase, Mark II or III. Um, it's a 1966, so that'll be a Mark III, long wheelbase, drop side, pickup truck version. This was at the Smallwood Steam Rally a few years ago, uh, chasing down a 400E pickup by the look of it. Down to Western Park in Shropshire, PDH 558E is a 1967 camper van. Um, I'm guessing this probably started out as an ambulance a bit similar to the one that we saw before. Just a few more CAs to go. Here's a very nice Mark III, a G-Reg example from late 1968. Like I say, the Mark III was introduced in 1964. The much deeper windscreen was a real boon to the driver, but style-wise, I think the earlier vans always look a little bit nicer. There's a slightly derelict-looking Mark II in an old farm building, slowly disintegrating. I'm not sure which was worse, the building or the van. But actually, the van might not be too bad underneath all that dirt. Hopefully, it'll be extracted one day if it hasn't been already. I'm sure it probably has. There's a Morris Miner alongside it and a Daimler in front of it. And to round out this collection of Bedford CA van photos, we've got a Mark III long wheelbase van here with an added window in the rear sides. 
I hope this little collection of Bedford CA photos was of interest. And like I say, all comments are very much welcomed. Whether you're a fan of CAs or can't stand the sight of them, equally, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. There are plenty of videos on here about classic vans, pickups, like commercial vehicles and so on. So please have a look around before you disappear. There'll be more videos along very, very soon. So bye for now.